we are in front of the Darvas Laros house, which is the middle phase in Vagos Opus in the city of Oradea. We can say that it represents actually all his pre-World War I uh, opus. He started with the La Nouveau, uh, entered uh, late La Nouveau or geometrical La Nouveau, represented among others by the Moskovic building or the Gutenberg house in Budapest. And uh, the last phase of this development is the university building here in Oradea and the Arcade Bazaar in Budapest, a toy shop, which has some elements of Hungarian La Nouveau, but uh, the interesting part is the upper floors, where you have a polygonal facade clad with uh, marble slabs, and the windows cut through the corner. And this foreshadows modern architecture in the interwar period. Uh, Vago was born to a middle class a Jewish family in 1877. Uh, the family had nine kids, and uh, he was the eighth in this uh, populous um, uh, company. Uh, four siblings, actually including him, uh, were artists. One was a playwright and actor, another was a theater director and actor, and his older brother, Laszlo, was also an architect, and they worked some 10 years together, uh, which was the most prosperous period in his um, life. It is difficult to categorize um, and the style that Vago pursued. Usually, uh, two leading architects are mentioned as inspiration, Oden Lechner and Otto Wagner, one uh, in Budapest, the other one in uh, Vienna. And he himself admitted uh, these influences, but in fact, he was much more open uh, to receive influences from others. Um, most importantly, particularly here in Oradea, it was uh, the National Romanticism, a movement called the Youngs, Fiatalok, in Hungary, headed by Károly Kos, who was also uh, born in what is today uh, Romania. Uh, Vago's life uh, was very um, dramatic. Unfortunately, around uh, 1918, he got involved into the Hungarian Soviet Republic, called Tanácskos Társaság, this was a sort of communist dictatorship inspired by the Soviet uh, communist uh, takeover. And after uh, this uh, was a premonition all his life, particularly in Hungary. After the revolution, he fled, um, of course, he fled the country, um, fled to Italy and uh, wanted to uh, restart his career as Giuseppe Vago without much success. He was supported, and uh, he and his son, uh, Peter, who later became Pierre Vago, who was a very important French architect, modernist architect, and the founder of the UIA, the Union International, uh, International Union of, of Architects. And unfortunately, in these decades, it was uh, his uh, wife, who was the breadwinner, who was, by the way, a singer. And uh, it was uh, very, very difficult for him uh, to sustain. Then uh, he tried to rejoin uh, his brother's office. His brother survived the communist dictatorship. He wasn't involved. Um, so they worked together on the project, on the competition of the League of Nations. And they won the first prize. Uh, they won the first prize and Le Corbusier, who was the leading architect in the 1920s in France, launched a campaign against them and it was really a very bitter fight. But nevertheless, their project um, um, was um, executed and uh, many parts of the League of Nations carried the imprint of the uh, Vago brothers. Most importantly, the big assembly hall, uh, while the facade uh, was more neoclassicistic than Vago would have liked. The house, the <coughs> Gutenberg house, is, is, is a fantastic building. It's a multi-functional uh, building. It was, uh, first of all, an apartment building um, with a lot of luxurious um, um, flats, but actually it uh, had also a segment for cultural life. It had a little theater. It has had uh, coffee houses. Who were the tenants? Of course, the tenants were the retirees of the um, printing and editorial uh, uh, business, and also architect Oden Lechner, 
who was uh, Vago's master, because Lechner got so impoverished uh, by 1910 that uh, he couldn't um, um, pay for the rent, so it was arranged for him. Um, when he passed away, Lechner, in 1911, it was uh, Josef Vago who paid, who footed all the bills. And uh, Erdogan Lechner uh, was, uh, he, he lived a lavish life disregarding his financial situation, so he needed uh, his uh, benefactor. Um, there is an interesting moment in the history of Hungarian Art Nouveau. In 1902, the Minister of Education and Religious Affairs, Baron Dula Vlasic, passed a decree to ban Hungarian Art Nouveau for building public buildings. Actually, the Art Nouveau, what was called secession in Hungary and also in Austria, uh, was a revolt. It was a revolt against the conservative status quo. So it was, in a way, teasing um, the political status quo. And uh, this was a premonition on the one hand. On the other hand, people who opposed the regime flocked to these architects who cultivated Art Nouveau to show their opposition to conservatism, uh, which was very widespread in the Austro-Hungarian Empire uh, before World War I. Architect Vago created four buildings in Oradea, which represent different phases of his architectural uh, development. It's true that at the beginning he was a Lechnerian, following a follower of Erdogan Lechner, with the Hungarian uh, folklorist architectural style. And this is his own house here in the city. And later, successively, he uh, left a Hungarian Art Nouveau. In some details, in some of his buildings, it is still there, but he uh, became more and more a uh, proto-modernist, meaning that around 1967, he uh, created an architecture which is called late Art Nouveau or geometrical Art Nouveau, following uh, the development of Otto Wagner in Vienna and his uh, student, Josef Hoffmann. This building was created in 1909, uh, which is quite a dramatic moment of the architectural history of the Habsburg Empire. Secession or Art Nouveau more or less died down and modernism didn't emerge as yet. This is the period which is labeled as proto-modern, a period before uh, modernism, a transitory period which is quite exciting with all the past and um, incoming architectural movements. Vago in this building uh, used uh, the national romanticism, doors, uh, windows, um, um, wall painting shows uh, this impact. At the same time, the room where we are now is having an important element of uh, uh, British traditional architecture of the hall, meaning that you have an open staircase, which is part of the living room, part of the hall, uh, this uh, two floor high uh, space. The building uh, uses uh, a whole set of uh, modernist materials. It has a stone cladding, which refers to Otto Wagner, the stone cladding of the Postal Saving Bank in Vienna. Uh, it also refers to the little studs that Wagner used in order to fix uh, these uh, marble uh, plates on the facade. Then there is also ceramic. Ceramic was uh, the most important element of Lechnerian uh, architectural line. So this building is really a synthetic piece of architecture that represents almost all movements that were around 1909-1910. We are now in the music room, which is a very important institution around 1900, a um, place of, of socializing, and this room is connected to the central hall, and other rooms are doing the same. It's important to stress that uh, this is a step forward in abandoning the traditional arrangement of uh, flats, which is uh, the enfilade, room after the room, inherited from palace architecture. And here there is a certain hall which concentrates, a central hall, which concentrates all the rooms around. 
And this center um, hall is connected to a winter garden, which looks more or less uh, to the southern uh, direction. And the winter garden overlooks the courtyard and the magnificent Zion Temple, uh, designed and uh, built in 1877, which is still the most important synagogue in the city. We are now in the Wittern Garden, which is an intermediary space between the hall and the terrace. The space is dominated um, in terms of architectural style by the Wiener Werkstätte, or the Viennese um, factories. It was actually a group of artists and, and industrials who uh, created decoration and created uh, furniture. This means that we have uh, repeating squares as the mullions of the windows and with repeating squares we have also uh, repeating motives that are uh, the basics of the Wiener Werkstätte as an architectural language. The wall behind me is a curvy wall which makes um, this space more dynamic which somehow draws one um, to the terrace and this curvy wall is then repeated um, on the terrace, the shape of the terrace, which overlooks um, the garden. And uh, from this space, the owner could have seen if the service had started in the synagogue. We are in the last building that Josef Agu created in Oradea, which is quite an interesting example how he left behind both the Hungarian Art Nouveau and the Wiener Werkstätte and produced a so-called proto-modernist building. The building was a school for the gendarmerie and today it's part of Oradea's university campus. The most impressive part is the street facade where he uh, used a modernist, uh, for the period, modernist language that uh, resembles very much Josef Hoffmann of Vienna. And also in some details he nears Bela Loita, who was the leading Art Nouveau architect and proto-modernist architect in uh, Budapest who also um, finished his uh, career in uh, 1920. He passed away in 1920, while uh, Vago got into exile. The building is showing how the Vagos, actually both of them, turned away from the Hungarian Art Nouveau, from this world of flowers and, and happiness, and also from the Wiener Werkstätte with the so-called geometric secession, and uh, embarked on a proper proto-modernist architecture. This architecture is characterized by clear uh, volumes. Um, it is not a, a single mass of buildings like in the period of Art Nouveau, but it is a free composition of uh, bodies, uh, volumes that somehow go back to uh, some movements during the Art Nouveau period that is quite close to what we've seen with Charles uh, Rennie Mackintosh in Scotland. Uh, this building is also related to Darvash uh, La Roche building because uh, on its uh, river side, river facade, is also um, a free composition of volumes that staircases are coming out from the facade, making the building a um, composition of plastic bodies.